Okay, so here is the Serio Pagabus Lividus, uh, all rehoused and fresh off of mold and a beautiful female. So uh, that's just one thing I want to update for you guys. We'll see what she does in here. Um, I'll show you the enclosure. <clears throat> it's the same kind of enclosure that we have the uh, OBT in. Lots of substrate, sand mixed with vermiculite and burpees cocoa core. We'll moisten it down here when she starts to burrow. Yeah, the, the substrate is actually already a little bit moist. I didn't want to get too crazy with it, but uh, yeah, definitely a female. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Seems like I have pretty good luck with my Asian species and my African species getting females. It's just my brachypelmas and salmopeus that I don't. So, uh, okay, uh, see everybody in the next clip. Okay, so here's another molt in the collection. This is the Gramostola grossa, or... I don't really want to get into it, but it's most likely the Gramostola iherengi because the iherengi that we know in the hobby is not really the iherengi. So, anyway, we're just going to call it Grossa for now. Um, this one hasn't eaten in forever, and it didn't even look in pre molt. So, I'm glad this one molted okay. We got a bunch of water here for it just in case. I just found it not even five minutes ago. This is uh, Saturday. My. My time going all over the place here with the camera. So yeah, Grandma Stola Grossa. Okay, here's another that molted recently. This is the Grandma Stola Porteri, um, or Grandma Stola Central, or Grandma Stola Rosea Central. So we get DNA testing done. Um, like I said before, People that are working down there in Chile all believe that these are all just Gramostola roseas, just different color forms, uh, until they get it all situated. But uh, we'll just keep calling it Porteri for now because that's what it was sold as. Molted about a week ago. Not quite sure on the sex. Hello everybody, Dave from Mary Arachnids doing a little update, quick update, um, 4th of July week update, we'll call it. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of little baby um, white dotted assassin bug nymphs, the Platymeris bigotatus. There are eight so far and a bunch of eggs left over. So what I'm going to do is just make a couple... Um, communals of these instead of leaving them in with the adults this time we're gonna keep them in here we'll feed them fruit flies uh, they'll have less room to worm around and a lot easier time for them to find their food and then see how they do here and as they get bigger then we'll start thinking about adding them back into the communal so yep eight so far uh, like I said there's a bunch of eggs left over so I, I imagine you know, they'll be hatching out over the next week or so, so we'll see how many we end up with. Okay, so we'll end the update with the Samuel Pace Cambridge Eye and uh, what this one has done. Um, you could see the web curtain that it put up. And it's laying here. This is how it's been. Uh, since it made that curtain, it just lays down on the ground. That's about it. We're not ready to uh, put that on the outside or inside. Oh, it's on the outside. Yay. Dog hairs. It's not ready to molt yet, but I would imagine it will be soon. And like I said before, it's definitely a male. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So that's, that's about it uh, right now for the updates, unless something else pops up. Um, there is the Selenocosmia. Gaboriki um, has done some little surface webbing there, uh, not a lot. Um, I expect this one to molt as well. And let's see if we can where we locate. Oh, here is the Ornithoctonus um, Oreo tibialis. As you can see, the hole there that's where. Uh, it went down. It did go down finally and dig. It fed yesterday. Um, so, yeah, oh, look. 
we were talking about decides to come up a little bit. Not focus, but there we go. There's a little dude. So we'll see what size he gains. Um, I, he'll be fine in here for a molt or two, and then we'll have to put him in something larger. Um, I know people that definitely will, can use him as he gets bigger and gets to the point where he's uh, going to mature. So uh, molts to look out for, still the K to Pum all of the same. Um, Gramostola pulchra snow should be molting soon. Um, possibly the Gramostola pulchra that you guys, or pulchra piece that you guys saw in the last video, that female may be closing in on a molt as well. Um, five out of the seven Lassiador dipsilis have molted to third instar. Uh, and a few of the Terranochilis, Terranochilis species, uh, or Terranochilis marina species, or yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The Terranochilis marinas tete and Mozambiques also um, have molted. Uh, and then this one, let me let me bring this one down, I'll show you the last one. So we'll end it with this guy, I guess, or gal. I believe this one's a gal. Why can't we focus today? This one just molted a couple days ago. This was Sybean. This is the one that only had seven legs before and then molted, got its other leg back out to molt it again. So um, it still wants to attach one part of its web to the lid. You can see right there. But uh, it wasn't really too bad to get off. Um, I was hoping that we would web down a little bit farther down in this area, but uh, she didn't. So we're going to have to wait one more molt to definitely sex this one because the last molt was kind of wrecked. But I do believe it was a female the last time I checked. So, uh, Yeah, that's it. So uh, we'll upload this, get it up and going. We have a big family picnic today with our annual cornhole tournament. Uh, last year, my son Eric and I finished in second. We plan on finishing in first this year. So wish me luck and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget the bell, like, subscribe, comment. All that other stuff. Uh, have a good weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend and uh, happy keeping.